And as you can see, there's definitely something living inside of this tree right here. What's in there, pooch? Hey, hey, what's in there? It's okay, it's okay. Look, what's in there? What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Happy Trails Outdoor Experience. My name is Ryan and uh, today we're uh, on some trails and we're at the park and we're just looking around trying to enjoy nature and have ourselves a little mini adventure. We gotta go back to work tomorrow so we're out here trying to relax, not take it too far but also fully absorb all of this around us. And uh, today um, we're gonna look for some hagstones. Um, we're looking for natural um, formations, wild edibles, wildlife, and we're probably going to go swimming because it's like really, really hot, but we actually found a really nice shaded trail that cuts through a gorge. So that's where we're at right now. Um, we've just begun our hike and I got to show you this. Look what I got already. We are literally about a hundred yards from the beginning of this trail. I found this here garter snake and uh, he doesn't mind being held at all honestly he's being really cool um, cool tempered and uh, he's just letting me see him it's really cool he's a decent sized gutter snake for around here I'm gonna let him go bye buddy and away with you all right, guys, so this is the beginning of our adventure. Um, stick around, you may uh, come on this adventure with us. Uh, I make these videos so that people that don't know where to go or the uh, spots that you know they don't know about or just in general, you can live vicariously through this. So I invite you to um, stick around, come with us, and enjoy nature with us. All right, guys, if anything interesting happens, I'll be showing you real soon. Okay guys, so we're still just hiking about the trail here and I figured I'd show this to you because this is actually really cool. Um, somebody obviously built this little structure here and uh, with a little bit more care, this could actually become a little bit of a, a yurt almost. This is actually really cool. And they got some seats in here. You can walk through and there's a door. It goes right down to the creek, which is where we're going to be spending most of our time today. Wow, look at all those butterflies. Yeah, they're like drooping. There was more over here. I There's two over there. Those are dragonflies. Right here. Wow, man. There's three of them, and they just won't leave each other alone. There was more right there. They flew up into the trees. I think you found it too. Awesome. Back to the car with us. Look at this guys. We found a giant hagstone. I knew this was in this area because I had found this rock before, before I knew what it was. And uh, we're gonna be taking this home. It's awesome, man. Okay guys, so we came, we saw, we got our hagstone. It's in the car. We also came here to fish and to swim. All right, so I got two things to show you before I go swimming and fishing. Um, naturally, I'm gonna go fishing first so that I don't spook the fish while I'm swimming around out there. Plus, I like to go swimming for a long time. So we're gonna fish first and then we're gonna go swimming. But first, come down to this spot. And there's trash from other fishermen. If you're a fisherman and you do this, then you're trash. Simple as that. Pick your stuff up, guys. Please keep our um, areas beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that up. Um, and now I have something else to show you guys. 
check this out. This is really cool. Came across one of those little rock stacks and that one actually resembled like something of a house uh, i thought that was cool i figured i'd show you guys but look at this it's beautiful everybody is having a great time oh there, there's a wonderful breeze and it's gonna make swimming that much better first i'm going fishing guys so let's see if we can get anything all right i'll get back with you Maybe I can walk across. It's nice that it's not like overly deep. Walking in this current is possible, or is impossible. That is why it is important in life to go with the flow. You 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 cruise in the current, man. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're done with our swimming adventure. It was fun. Water was really nice. We had a good time. Um, so now we literally found a mini pond, and this thing is drying up. Um, there's a lot of frogs in it. But I saw a couple of catchable fish in there, and I think I'm going to save them. I'm going to catch them, attempt to catch them, and I'm going to release them over there in the main stream. Um, so we're going to see what we can do. All right, I got one. Oh, yeah, he got off. All right, I got that one. Nope. All right, maybe I need a smaller bait. I think my bait's a little bit too big. I'll take a couple pieces of that worm off of there. Like Can't catch this fish. It's a bass too. <laughs> eh, scared him. All right, guys, so I got one of the fish out of this mini pond that's drying up, and it's a large mouth bass. Look at him, little micro bass. There's a whole bunch of bluegill over there, too. Um, there's another bass in there, too. I am going to let this guy go. I just saved a life, guys. Just saved a life, you know, just being a guardian of nature. I'll take this guy 
and we're gonna release him into the big water. On to the next one. And as you can see here, Miss Ashley is cleaning up after the pigs. Out of it today, uh, clean, just cleaning up trash that people has left behind. Um, we found a brand new floaty that has no holes in it. It's uh, like an inner tube type deal. And we've got like a 10 foot rope. So, and the rope is not dry rotted. It's actually looking pretty good. So, going the extra mile sometimes reaps some rewards. We'll be keeping the floaty and that rope, but everything else can just go in the trash. But this is cool. Um, I got one of those fish out of here, but unfortunately, all the other ones are too small to catch, or they just there. See, I don't know. Yeah, you can't see it. There's. There's a bunch of bluegill right over here on the other side. And there's probably like 10 or 15 of them. But I just cannot get them to bite. So I'm just going to have to leave them there and let nature take its course. We're going to keep on hiking down. And uh, we're going to see what else we can run into. We're going to start getting ready to go home here shortly. Shortly. we still got some time, but we're going to see what else we can get into. It's cool. See, there's one of those bluegill right there. Now that's a giant tadpole. Let's see if I can zoom in. No, I don't think so. It's a big tadpole, man. There are frogs all over the place here. Like all over the place. It's really cool. So here's a frog right over here. He's right there next to the log. Yep, there he goes. Come here, Pooch. Leave it. More frogs. Oh my goodness. Well, look at what I just found. Mm-hmm. Looks like the coyote's got a turkey or something. I don't know. How about that?
There are hungry fish in there, but I think my might my bait might just be a little bit too big. I got him. Yeah, we're right where we started. Look at that, guys. Good bait. Yes, I am in no fishing. Got another little shiner. Got another one. I know where to come for bait. Shut up. Hey, there's a bigger one. This spot is a little bit boring. We're gonna move on. Ah, beautiful. There you go. Well guys, we came, we saw, we caught a few fish, we went swimming, we found ourselves a hagstone, we got a garbage bag full of garbage that we picked up on the trail. Pretty good day, pretty good day. Today I sold one of my tables for uh, um, like 200 bucks. Actually it wasn't a table. This particular piece was a toy box for a bay window and it was also doubled as a seat, like a bench. So that's awesome. So we had a good time today. We did a little bit of everything and we're ready to go home. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it.